with Bob's Leatherworks in Raleigh, North Carolina. Uh, every time I make something that's different, then I'm going to make a video about it, which is what I've said in the past. And this rig is decidedly different uh, on a couple of points. First of all, this is what looks like a 45 rig, but it is not. This is a Ruger single six, 22. And one of the tip-offs is that you've got a smaller frame and a normal size butt. Okay, I just took off the hammer thong. And this rig is going to Canada. This man has a Heritage Arms 22. And they look very similar in some regards anyway, to a Ruger single six. The Heritage Arms has a smaller cylinder and they have shorter barrels. This is my six and a half inch Ruger single six from the 1960s. And the Heritage Arms trigger guard is a little bit longer, but the butt is larger as it comes out of the frame for holding on to it, but the cylinder is smaller. I think you can see that when you look at a single six. So this gentleman does not yet have a 45, and he is up in Canada, and it might be difficult for him to get one. So he wanted a gun belt with 45 caliber bullet loops on it for someday when he gets a 45, because he wants to do Cowboy Festra action. But he has a 4 and, uh, four and 3 quarter inch barreled uh, Heritage Arms 22. So I made him a holster for that gun. And when mine's in it, barrel sticks out. That's okay. Now, the other thing about this rig is that it uh, is unlined with suede. It is leather lined, which a lot of gun belts, most gun belts were. I put suede inside mine because it helps grip uh, onto your body a little better or on your pants a little better but he wanted to save some money and he wanted a what I call a drover rig so I made him a holster with my slide ledge in it which is right there it's real easy to see on this one because I don't have the wings on here on this holster so there's the slide ledge on this belt two and a half inch wide belt six 45 caliber bullet loops and one day when he gets his 45 I can make him a holster that will slide on the same belt. Ranger overlap connector which is right here he's got nickel hardware which you can see and his initials DG are on the buckle uh, connector and on the back of the holster right there so there you have it you have a 22 holster for four and three quarter inch heritage arms 22 and I used my Ruger single six to make the holster and you're going to get yourself a good solid piece of latigo as a holster or a hammer thong right there. You tug this down and we'll grab on tight. And there you have it. So if you've got a Heritage Arms 22 or a single 622 and you want to get a rig for it, there is one style of it. I can put 22 bullet loops on rigs. I would rather um, offer and sell you a, a box, a bullet box, that snaps on. You've seen those in the past, I think, or you can see them on my website. And you can carry a lot of 22 if you can find the 22 ammunition. So, thanks for watching again, and... Take care, have a good day, and if you want to order anything from me, look at the end titles on any of my uh, YouTube videos and you'll find my contact information. Thanks for watching and have a great day.